Hi, I'm uh, Jonathan from uh, Newton Running in Europe and uh, today we're here with Fernando. Hi Fernando. Uh, welcome to Europe. Welcome to Denmark. Hey, thanks. Uh, I'm a little bit out of it still. Uh, <laughs> just dealt with 16 hours of travel to get here. So I'm just, I'm pretty excited to be here. A little tired, but uh, I'll, get, I'll get on the sleep clock here in, in Denmark soon enough. Excellent. Good. Well, it's good to have you here. Um, it's, you're here for the uh, World Half Marathon Championships. You're representing the USA. Uh, you looking forward to the race? Yeah, very much. Um, this kind of came by surprise. Um, you know, four weeks ago, I didn't even think I was even had a chance to make the team. Um, but uh, a week later, uh, my federation ended up letting me know that they, a spot opened up, and so I was ready. I've um, been racing a lot, and uh, I actually had to cancel one of my races to kind of recharge the batteries. Mm -hmm. um, and it's working out pretty good, so I'm mm -hmm. really happy I'm here, and I'm you know, not injured and just hungry. I um, hope I do really well. So Good. Good. Well, congratulations, yeah, for making the team and, and, and being able to represent Newton as well at, uh, at this race. That's, uh, that's a great achievement for, for you and for us. Um, what, what we'd like to ask you uh, today was, you know, how, how did you get involved with Newton running? Uh, first of all, when I started running professionally, it was in 2006, and um, I had signed my first contract at Reebok International. Uh, I was with them for four and a half years. Um, at the end of 2010, um, for whatever reasons I want to say, it just we, we continued to um, not continue on with the relationship. Mm -hmm. And so um, I didn't really get any offers from anybody. Uh, I was kind of just running on my own. Um, I mean, I could have gotten gear from somebody else sure. or, so, uh, or some other company. Um, but at the end of 2012, um, you know, I was going on two years being alone. And I really didn't want to kind of continue my career to do that. I wanted to be a part of something. Um, Newton I'm Running was founded in Boulder, Colorado. That's where I'm from. And it's kind of like, you know, home team, and uh, you know, really, with Newton coming out in 2007, I, I really knew nothing really of Newton and Tao about 2012, the beginning, and so um, at the end of um, 2012, it was actually in the summer of 2012, I started talking to Newton, and um, you know, found out, you know, wore my first pair of Newtons and ran in them, and um, you know, a couple of months went by, and you know, I'm on the team, and um, Ever since then, I mean, I've just been getting PRs. I mean, my uh, my PRs were from two thousand six, and um, and I, you know, finally in two thousand fourteen at Houston, I run one hundred two flat. Um, before that, I mean, I was struggling to break uh, one hundred four, so it's been a pretty good experience, and I'm really happy. Cool. And you think Newton's helped with that? Definitely. I mean, not only with the shoe, but just the company itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I. I had my experiences with other companies and, and you know, I had, I never even had a relationship um, with my previous um, companies and, and, and maybe it was my fault, um, my fault as well, but um, I felt that with Newton, um, we're just a family, small, small company right now, but um, the way that I, that Steven Gartside explained it to me was we do hand-to-hand -hand combat instead of just trying to throw shoes out and just try to get numbers in them. I mean, literally, they want a relationship with every single person that wears the shoes. And so, I mean, I have a lot of pride when it comes to wearing the shoes, and I'm really happy I could represent um, Newton Running on a world stage this weekend. That's fantastic. We're happy about that. Well, wow. tell us a little bit about your uh, your, your running background, your career. How's it How's it been? How have you yeah. got to here? <laughs> yeah, well, as I mentioned before, um, 2006 is when I, I finished my collegiate running um, mm -hmm. back in the United States. Uh, I won seven national championships um, uh, in the NAI division. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone uh, knows about Division One and NCAA. There's Division One, Division Two, and Division Three in NCAA, while the NAIA is a tad, you know, the next level down from NCAA. Um, more smaller private schools type. Um, type conference or um, federation, you would say, and uh, you know, I was successful then, I ran 13.34 in the 5K mm -hmm. on the track in 28.25, and um, actually my senior year in college, I ran the 25K distance, and I actually ran really well, 114.21, and so uh, that was our American record at the time, I was 24 years old, and um, six months later, I went on to run a debut 212.27 in Fukuoka, Japan. So, 
doing all that and signing my first uh, uh, professional contract, I was on cloud nine. I mean, I was <laughs> sure. like, I have all these dreams. I'm going to the Olympics. I'm going to win the medal. And, you know, in 2008 and 2012, and um, I had all these dreams, and it, it didn't go that way. Um, so it's been very bumpy. Um, mm -hmm. A lot to do with injuries. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, I'm young. I got quick success. Mm -hmm. And um, I just was thinking way too much. And I just wasn't having a good time. And, um, you know, 2011, I... I I ran okay. Um, 2012, in the beginning, I ran okay. I ran 211.53 at my Olympic trials. I got seventh. Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of 2012 wasn't good. And, um, you know, when I, in October in 2012 is when I got with Reebok. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hunt Newton. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, and so in 2013, I was, you know, starting to have fun again, racing a lot. And uh, I ended up running 103 mm -hmm. in November. And, um, you know, I started off the year with the bang and ran a uh, 102 flat mm -hmm. in Houston, getting eighth at my championships. So, and then I actually went the next month. I went on to run a 1346 um, indoors in the 5,000 meters. So that was a PR of since 2006. So I was really happy for that. And um, here I am. I'm going to be 32 years old next month. Uh, just trying to have fun, and I'm glad that I could be a part of it with um, with Newton running. Cool. Sounds like you're really kind of finding your feet again, running wise, and, and you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, you, I mean, when people say you can never stop learning, that's the truth. I mean, um, even if something that you think you know or you don't think you you don't know anything about, it, but you really do, is sometimes you just need someone to help you um, remind yourself that you know what's going on, you know what you want, you, you you're capable of this, and um, I mean, it's just hard to to do it by yourself. And um, Newton Running Elite, my club, I mean, it's it's just so much support there, and, uh, and I, I'm not alone. And you know, I feel like whenever you're part of Newton Running, that you have family all over the place. Here, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So as you said, you ran a uh, 62 flat uh, to qualify for this race. Yes. That's great. So you're obviously in, in great shape. Uh, yes. Yeah. Got any expectations for for the weekend for Saturday's race? Uh, for World Championships. So. A uh, little bit more history. This is the first time in seven years I'm representing my country. The last time I actually put on the United States jersey was in 2007, the, the Summer Games at US Osaka. Didn't go very well. So this is like my chance to kind of redeem myself. Um, I definitely want to put it all out there, but um, passive aggressive um, types, um, not, not routine, but uh, that's um, my plan, my, you know, I just, I just don't want to go there and shoot myself in the foot. Sure. I, I want to go out and, and a, a good pace. Um, I'm thinking right around my PR, I mean, mm -hmm. 256 a K. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, if I could get top 20 individually, I'd, I'd be satisfied. And, um, you know, time-wise, I just, you just never know in a championship setting. Sure. You have a lot of fast down Kenyans and Ethiopians going out sure. fast, and you want to be competitive. So I just really don't know. Um, I'm just here to race and not worry about time so much. Good. And talking about the race, what 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 would be your race shoe for for Saturday? Uh, Half marathon distance. Yeah, um, to MB three. I mean, to be honest. Um, I could run a fast 400 in them all the way to a half marathon. Yeah. Um, I just feel so much, they're so light of a shoe and it just, when I put it on, it just feels right. Um, it just feels like, you know, just like a glove and and uh, I just, I just feel like I'm wearing nothing. And, and so, you know, I just want to be as light as possible, efficient as possible and then just nothing holding you back. Great. Good. Well, we'd like to see that as well. I think, you know, the, the combination of, of, of your... Uh, you know the, the way you're running at the moment, and the MV3, which is our lightest and fastest shoe. You know, hopefully that can help you to a, to a good race on Saturday. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Good. Well, great. Well, thanks for your time. Right. It's good to have you here, and, and good luck for the race on Saturday. All right, thank you. It's good to be here. Thanks.